new book alert how to sew clothes from the team by all well so come with me and well, let's go through it I've been waiting for this book. I ordered it on pre-order. I got it yesterday and I thought I would do a little a preview or look through it and so you can see what's in it. So it's by um, the girls at Allwell. So it's Amelia Greenhall and Amy Bornman and it's a nice size book. So let's have a look. So it actually has the book has got patterns in it. So um, where, are they? where are they? They're here at the back. So I love a book that provides the patterns. So let's go through it all. So these are the people who also have um, their own website and they sell all their patterns on Etsy as well. And to be honest, I was actually <laughs> gonna buy some of their patterns on Etsy, um, their jacket and their boxy top, but the printer and I don't often work together. So, um, I never bought it and then when they saw book I saw they had a book I'm like I pre-ordered it straight away because like awesome um, so the book includes um, clothes and accessories so we've got the boxy top and all its variations to the dress it's got the cardigan coats so you can quilt it or you can just have a lightweight one depending on the um, material you use and a sash of bag patch bags and pouches and a little flat pouch so all sorts of things so this arched one is quite cute so let's go through it so you've got all information about um, the designers themselves their space how to set up a workspace it's really important and I kind of feel included because they even show like a tiny little space which you know I sew on the kitchen table so do you know what I mean like you kind of feel included in this you don't have to have a big fancy studio the basics of what you can use um, just keep more talking how to choose a sewing machine that's important if you don't know how to do this sort of stuff threads and all sorts of stuff right so it's actually really interesting I was reading this last night so I'm not going to read it all because it's a whole point of buying the book the basics on how to sew a garment um, all that finishes so I have always always done a zigzag stitch but now I have got my overlocker I'll be able to do the surging stitch or the overlocker stitch um, I've also done lots of um, French seams so it all depends on what you prefer and then it talks about all the sorts of finishes that you can do so let's keep going how to pin that's important and you know what I like in here it shows you how to um, undo a seam when you've made a boo-boo I mean that's important but you need to learn how to fix your mistakes and then another interesting bit is all about fabric so all about the drape so like how um, if you don't know what type of fabric hold it up and find out what kind of drape it is it's really important um, to know what how it, how it sits on you because how the drape is it's going to stick out over your boobs is it going to like fold down it, it's it's actually really important so it's a good read of this of how to um it's all about the fabrics and how to choose your fabrics and the warp and the weft and the grain so it's quite interesting where to start pattern inventory like it's basically you want to sew it to actually take from that idea all the way through to sewing I like this bit <laughs> take a deep breath very important okay so let's have a look so they're going to start with the boxy tops so um, it's one pattern and you can do all this with it I like the look here of the little sleeves because I've got scars on my shoulders I why um, I've got some really nice fabric I'm hoping to um, make this one with but if I've got enough length of fabric I might put sleeves on it as well um, and yeah and you can always turn it into a dress as well so that's good to know too isn't it one pattern easy so then it tells you how to do it what to look for the size ranges which you might be interested in on how oh, sorry before I do that how much fabric you need and where were the sizes now this is size inclusive honestly it goes up to a 66 inch bust now that's the finished garment size so that's 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 big that's nice and roomy so you know I'm gonna have easy peasy fitting to this how all you sew it they're turning it into a long sleeve 
how to adjust the pattern to do that. Just putting a ruffle on it. I mean, how cute is that? Easy. Easy. They so look cute. They look so different. One pattern and it looks so differently. So it just gives you some more ideas and then some variations on that. Now, isn't that effective with the, di uh, the stripes going a different way for patch pockets? I love the idea of a split hem because it makes it easy to put your hands in your pockets too. Um, if you've got pockets in your trousers or skirt. So, and then this, the cardigan coat. So on the Etsy page, they have this picture here of this one. It is awesome. So the quilting on that. So you can have it quilted. You can have it just like lightweight. That looks just like um, a single piece of fabric. That looks like wool. You can quilt it. You know, you can have it big and long with nice, big, deep, luxurious pockets. One pattern, you can do all this. So just talk your way through it, how to do it, some bitten buttons. You know, you don't have to put buttons on it. You know, you can use a tie, however you like the finish of it. So it talks you all how through to do it. And these pictures are awesome. I love the graphics in here. They're so easy to understand. It's so easy to see that this is the inside of it, the wrong side of the fabric. This here is the um, exterior of the fabric and it's folded over. It's so easy. And you can see over here. The inside, the outside. Love the graphics on this. I wish every sewing book had graphics like this. And then you want to take that coat and coat and turn it into a quilt coat. Easy. You know, anything. Look at, see, this is the one I was talking about. Look at that quilting. It's beautiful. And that one has a tie. And then we'll keep going with all different types of collars. The tie, no ties, buttons, however you like it. Oh, it's simple, even a hanging loop. I mean, yes, you need a hanging loop, don't you? I didn't even think of that. And then onto their bags. All sorts of bags, never buy a bag again, hey? These would be good for gift bags. This is good for gift bag. This is a good for gift bags. Everyone needs pouches. And I, I love the arch. The, cur the curved? <laughs> yeah, the curved one here. It looks so cool, doesn't it? And how to do simple pouches. They look so easy. They make it so easy. A book bag. Yes, everyone needs book bags. Book bags are used for everything. Have no fear of zippers. Yes, don't scare. Don't be scared of cat the zippers. Look, look, see, simple, simple diagrams so easy to understand actually my son has been wanting wanting to learn to do zippers i might give him this and he can have a look and see if he can understand i reckon he'll be able to he's 12. i reckon he will have um no problem understanding this party purse there's a good name for a purse that's pretty cool actually it's got like the little boxy um shape well we're getting towards the end that's a good value book this Skills, excuse the fly. It's summer here, there's flies. All the skills that you could need. Flat fold seams, they're good. I like them. That's I think I'm gonna master them this year, maybe. If I can do French seams in my sleep, I might master French flat fold seams. Maybe that's what I can do when I make my boxy top. Because the boxy top is the first thing I'm gonna make. The fabric I have is like a dark blue and it's soft. I'm not sure if it's like a double go gauze or what, but so I bought it for the boxy top. Oh, here look, tracing patterns from existing garments. All sorts of things that you can learn. It just makes you, it takes you to through their projects and then beyond, which I think is a great idea. And scraps, yes. <laughs> what to do with scraps. What else you can get fabric from. It's such an idea, isn't it? Oh, oh we're almost finished. And then we have uh, the back page, which is the patterns. Let's see if we can open this without damage. Oh, that's a cute little flap there. Oh, look at this. See, this is so much easier than trying to get my printer to work. And you've got just a big fold out. And what's this one? This is the boxy top. And ruffle. And, oh, so easy. Okay, look. Awesome. This is book. I would 100% recommend this book. Big 10 out of 10. 
I will be definitely making projects out of this. Like I said, the boxy top, oh, it's going to go in. <laughs> it's not going to go in. So the boxy top is the number one thing to do. I've just got a couple of things to work, go through, work through first. And then I will be um, doing the boxy top. Boxy top for me with sleeves. And actually, I might make a couple. I wonder if I can, what do you reckon? Put a peep on, like a ruffle on it? I don't know. Will I get away with that? maybe and i like the jacket because we it's just turned sorry it's just turned to autumn it's not summer anymore it's like we're in the first week of autumn um that would be great for going out in the garden with because i love the deep pockets so i could when i go in the garden i'm always putting the secretaires and the gloves in my jeans pocket but i think i need a nice jacket with deep pockets to put the secretaires in because i've always got a pair of secretaires in my hand when i go outside so this is an awesome book. I 100% recommend it. I will leave um, in the link uh, description below links to the book. Um, and tell me, what do you think of the boxy top? Are you going to make one? What's, what's your goal plan? Are you going to be making your own clothes? I'd love to hear what, what you'd love to make. All right. Thanks for watching.